Dan, Ollie, I bumped into your mate Billy the other day. He's a lucky man. He happened to bump into someone who'd done a bit of rowing and he said you guys are heading off across the Atlantic tomorrow and did I have any tips? I got a few for you. First one, it's a bit late, don't do it, it's pretty boring. But the real tips, first thing, each of you take on responsibility for something. The water maker, the solar panels, the GPS, that'll be what doesn't get you across. There's something breaking rather than physical. Two, it is really boring. There's not a lot to look at. The start and finish are okay, but once you've lost sight of land, it's pretty much the same. Stick to your shift patterns, don't be laid out, it'll really knock the other one of you off. And every few days, have a double shift. Yes, the rain's gonna be bad, but the double rest will make up for a lot of hard work. So make sure you do that. Also, long nights. The nights near the equator are almost as long as the day. So there's no romantic sunsets. So it's just gonna be lights on, lights off, and a lot of rowing in the dark, which, let's face it, is even more boring than rowing looking at the sea. And the other thing, Although that hasn't been sad that positive, there will be some amazing moments and it will make you look, look at life very differently. But when you're out there, just put your head up, look around and think, I'm rowing across the ocean. When am I ever going to do this again? And appreciate the fact you're going to be out there, enjoy every minute, look after each other and get to the other side safe. Good luck.